a stack of cards left over from the holidays, don't throw them away. You can use them in your classroom with the kids. I'm going to show you five ways to use your leftover holiday cards. All right, number one. To work on fine motor skills, you can take the cards and just simply have the kids cut them into strips. Great fine motor practice. To take it up a notch, cut the pieces, let the kids cut them into puzzle pieces. Depending on how old your kids are or how well their fine motor skills are, you might just have them cut them into four different pieces and then they can assemble them back in, put them back together. So you can use them um, <clears throat> as fine motor and to work on visual uh, discrimination to put them back into place as a puzzle. The last way that you can um, use the fine motor skills is they can cut them into strips, but they could also cut around things. So this is a little more advanced, but we're going to cut around the snowmen. And so they're just going to cut the snowmen out and go around the scarf and around the hat. And this has to, this helps them to work with turning the paper, turning the cards to work on the fine motor. So three ways to work on fine motor skills. The second thing that you can use the cards for is letter identification. So you want to lay out the cards and give the kids, they could either use dot markers or uh, magic markers or pens would also work and they can go on hunts, a hunt for letters that they recognize. Use the cards as thank you cards. And this you just need to separate the front and the back of the card. In fact, you can save the back. This would be good for that letter identification one we just talked about where they could go through and circle um, or highlight with a highlighter letters that they recognize. But for the thank you card version, you just need the blank side. So now they can turn this into a list of things they got for Christmas, maybe a thank you note to someone, um, or they can simply just write a note um, to a friend in the classroom. So these become stationary for the kids to use to practice their writing. Number four, story starters. Cards are great for using um, to help prompt children um, to create stories. So for this one, the kids could get their own paper or they could orally tell a story about what they think is going on. So maybe they orally tell a story about Santa's truck getting stuck in a snowdrift, or maybe they brainstorm ideas of what kinds of presents they think might be in Santa's truck. Um, again, this could be a story that's told orally or they could write down their story. So using these as a prompt for writing. The other way to do story starters is um, to use the cards that have pictures on them or the photograph cards that are really popular now. And the kids, um, if it's a card that they brought in for home, they could cut out just the head or the whole body and then use their paper. And if they're just using the head, they might draw new bodies for the people and then tell a story about that person or those people that are in their picture. And it can work both ways, whether it's a story about people that they know, they could reflect on a story from the past year, or if it's people that they don't know, then they could just make up a story with those characters, which is kind of fun too. And then the last way to use the cards is for labeling. And for this, they can write directly on the card or they could glue the card to a piece of paper. And then they're gonna go through and draw lines and label things. So they might label the hat, the buttons, the scarf, the nose, and just draw a line and write those words. This is really useful for um, our students who aren't writing sentences yet, but are just at that labeling stage. So those are five ways to reuse those holiday cards before you recycle them. And I'll see you next time.